So now let's get into this scenario where we did a multiplication of 5 times 4. You can see the input parameters here. So after we did the multiplication, now I want to do an addition, but I want to use the result of this for this step, right? So how do we do that? Well, we're going to click on this addition step and we got the same thing, right? So our first value, we will create a link to the result. And I clicked over here on this chain looking thing. I'm going to come to available steps. You guys see I have a step called multiply five times four. And I'm going to grab its result. Click OK. You can also do custom expressions if you want. And boom, there it is. You guys check it out, how it looks. So now this took the result. And also notice what happened. This arrow was created that the result from this is going to the A parameter of this. How cool is that, huh? And then this is kind of like the output result. Check it out. Result gets stored into A and B. Okay. And then B, what, what will B be? I don't know. Let's say 10. So let's go to the properties and change the name. Add result of multiplication with 10. Okay. So check it out. Our step is renamed so that we know what's going on. And now we just need a verification, right? So this is 20. And here we're going to add 10 to 20. So we need a checkpoint. And 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. And we're going to validate. Yes. Okay. So now this is going to produce a checkpoint as well. Whether this step worked correctly. Whether this method worked correctly. 